Hey, hi everyone and welcome to a brand new video. So this video is the part 5 of our Firebase, Python Firebase real-time database uh, CRUD tutorial. So that's a mouthful, but this is what it is. So it's the fifth video. We've done all aspects of CRUD so far. So we've done create data, read data, update data, and delete data. However, this is sort of an add-on to the read data part where we're going to actually uh, read the data but with more advanced queries so a lot of people have asked me how like i know how to extract the data from the database but how do i apply conditions the way i would with let's say sql so let's say i want all the users whose age is greater than 50 and then how do i extract that so this is what this video is essentially about we're going to discuss advanced queries with pyrobase so um you, this shouldn't be the first video you watch from this playlist so if you're interested be sure to check out previous videos at least just check out the read video for the read data part otherwise you're definitely on your way to actually understanding this and finishing the playlist so let's get started now i won't walk you through this part because you obviously know this so this is how we connect to the firebase application so this part right here and from last time we said to retrieve data um, we use the get function. So let's just go back here. So we have users. Let's expand our data and we have a bunch of users right here with their information. And we said that we want to apply some conditions on this data. Now with Pyrobase, there was a seemingly issue with the way that we use advanced queries. So I did a lot of research and I actually had a conversation with a bunch of people about this because let me just type the function out. So before we used to say db.childusers.order by child, and let's say uh, first name, and then we say dot equal to, and we say Jane. All right, so this is what we pretty much had. Now, the thing is, is that recently, at one point, I think this year, uh, this stopped working with Pyrobase. So there was a universal error for everyone who was using Pyrobase that the order by child function just stopped working. Now, people have proposed ways to go around it. I was actually searching for them until I came across something particularly helpful and useful for you, especially if you've already started this project with Pyrobase, and that is Pyrobase 4. So let's just go to the terminal and I'll tell you what this is about. So pip install Firebase 4. And then you enter. So now I obviously already installed it, but in your case, you'd wait a couple minutes for it to install. Now what Firebase 4 is that it's essentially a fork of Firebase from GitHub, from the original Firebase code, where they fix this issue. So they would fix this problem. And then what happens is, all of the code you've written before in Pyrobase is still definitely valid. So you don't even have to change the import statement to Pyrobase 4. It remains import Pyrobase. You just have to pip install Pyrobase 4. So this is very important for you to install. And now, now that you've installed that, let me just comment it here in case someone missed this. So pip install Pyrobase 4, not Pyrobase. And this way you would be able to actually use this code. Now, since I'm here, um, what is this? So what is this phrase? So since we already typed it. So we know by now that when we say db.child and we are creating essentially a path to this data. Now, what is db.child.order by child? Here we're saying that we want to measure our data to test the data, you could say, using the first name field available in some columns. So going back to the database, we have a first name for, I think, maybe all of them. Yes, so we have a first name for all the data. That doesn't even matter. You could have some data with no first name. And we're looking for a first name is equal to Jane. So what we want to do is that we want to get this. Um, let's just comment this. So we want to get this person. We want to get this user. So what we're going to print is that we're going to print result.val and obviously we have to name this as result. Okay, so before we run this, I'm going to explain exactly what we're doing here. 
So what we're doing is that we're selecting a, co a column or a field, so column for SQL terms. So we're selecting the first name field and we're applying our condition, the equal to condition, equal to Jane, on the column or field first name. So this is how the syntax for this works. By using order by child, you choose the um, field that you want to apply your condition onto. So before we run this, there's one thing that we need to change before we can use this function. So the thing that we need to change is the following. So if we go back to our, so if we go back to our database, we can go to the rules and we have to index all the fields that we will be querying. So let me just explain. So we have to create a new field right here. So users is our root node. And then we would essentially just say dot index on and we specify an array of fields. So by doing this, we're telling Firebase that I want to be able to perform complex queries on these indexes or on these field names. So first name, last name. So when you create a new field and you want to perform queries on it, it's important that you change your rules beforehand. So I just published the rules. I can go back to the data now and now I can actually run it. So running my code, I get the following. So it returned to me the object with Jane as first name and all the information surrounding it, as well as the ID. So this is essentially how you perform conditions on using Firebase and Python. So you can add more things to this. So assuming I had maybe 10 Jane fields, what I could do here is to limit to first three or two or any integer. So let's say seven. So if I had maybe 10 Jane objects, I could get the top seven ones sorted by first name, which is Jane. So I just obviously get the top seven and I get seven of the options instead of returning the 10 options. So this is good if you have big data and you want to actually limit it. And here you're limiting. You can also limit to last. So the same way you limit to first, you can limit to last. And this way you'll be getting the bottom seven instead of the top seven. So if, we, if, you, if you want to actually demo this limit to, Let's just try it with something else. So we can order by integer fields as well. So let's say age. And we can get age equal to 30, we could say, and I will run it. And then we get the object with age 30, so John Smith. Now we have two objects with age 44. All right, so let me just verify and show you guys. So we have this one with age 44 and this one. Now. To actually um, get both of them, now by doing this, I will get both of them. Let's just run it. All right, so here we go. We match the object with age equal to 44. Now, where does limit come in? So limit to first one. Let's say I only want one of these results. I do not want the others. So if I run it, I get one of them rather than get the two with age 44. So now you see how the limit works. Now, if I do limit to last, and run it, I get the other one with age 44, so the bottom one in the database. So by doing this, you're actually choosing a column, applying a uh, condition to it, and also limiting the amount of data you get to see from the result. All right, so this is essentially how you do it. So now you know how to match both strings and integers. What you can do with integers is also use start at. Now let me remove the limit. So start at is saying greater than or equal. So when I say start at 30 or 32, or let's say 35, this way I'm saying I want the person's age to be greater or equal to 35. And now I run it. Okay, so I get these. This one has age 44. This one has age 44 as well. And this one has age 50. I can also limit it to a certain number of results using limit to first three or two or one or whatever number you choose. You can also add to start at, I'm sorry. So you can add to start at with end at. So we can say it ends at 44, you could say. So this way, or let's say 40. So we get to exclude the 44 ones. We get no results right here because we, the most, the smallest one after uh, 35 was actually not 44. So let's just run it starting at 30 and now we get results with 30 and 32. So that's how you manipulate integers, how you apply boundaries. You can use start at, end at, or both of them together. You can order by a child and always 
always apply conditions to that child. So this, these are the sort of conditions that you can apply. So let me just list them right here. So you have equal to, you have limit to first or last. You have start at and end at. And you're applying all of these on order by child. Now, another thing you can do is that you can order by key. So removing child, just say order by key, would be ordering by the actual ID that we have. So you're, you'd be ordering by this. So let me just run it. This way you would get all of them ordered by the ID. If you want to see only some of them, you can also set a limit. So dot limit to first three. And you would, you would, oops. So you would get the first three. All right, so this is pretty much how you do it. So now you know how to do these complex and advanced queries using the um, using Firebase with Python, using the Firebase library, and make sure to always install Firebase 4. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like if it was, and I'll see you in the next video.